guys, what's going on? This is Jack here from Techno Assistant. Um, today I'm just going to show you guys a uh, Norton 2013 uh, 360 beta. So I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to run some viruses uh, and test the sonar protection if it doesn't already catch it by the signatures. So um, I just disconnected from the internet for that purpose. Um, because there are network worms, you gotta be very careful when you're doing uh, stupid stuff like this. So, uh, all right, guys, um, we're gonna we're gonna right-click scan this folder, and I do have a backup, and I told it not to scan in compressed folders, so um, so I'd still have this backup. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to do this on your own, you can go to uh, malwaredomainlist.com, and uh, they have. Uh, links that you can go to but you gotta be very careful I would definitely recommend a virtual machine and uh, just start from there alright guys um, anyways so when you open this up I only have a few but uh, we got some fake antiviruses and Zeus, Zeus Trojans in here so what just happened that was weird hold on see here all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty out this folder and uh, all right and uh, then I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna paste them back in there and then so see which ones it detects all right it's already saying something to us here so uh, let's see here Alright, so it looks like it looks like it uh, caught some of them. I'm sorry guys, this virtual machine is a little glitchy. I didn't really give it enough memory, but okay, what's this? Internet connectivity repair. Okay, it looks like it was trying to uh, give me to activate the beta. Um, and it can't connect to the internet. But that's because I didn't enable the network adapter, so let's just close out of this then. Alright, well anyways, so it looks like it caught uh, all but four. So uh, we're going to see how the sonar protection does. Um, and I have not done this yet, so we'll see what happens. Alright. This will be interesting. Alright. So it asked for administrative privileges. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. I think you could, though. Uh, because I'm running it on a virtual machine. But anyway, so looks like that one is hiding in the task manager somewhere. Let's see if I can even open it up. Yep. Uh, okay. Alright, let's see here what we got. Okay. Um, I don't see it running. Okay. Alright, found and fixed threats. Okay, let's see here what it's got to say. Okay, alright. BTC, alright, so it looks like these are the three that were in there before. Um, and then data modify. Um, so these were all quarantined here. And uh, I guess it's processing some more threats, so let's refresh this here. Alright, um, let's try to run this again here. Beep. Data modify. Okay. Alright, I think I just saw a pop up here somewhere. Hmm. Um. What's this? this? Alright, still processing these threats, so, uh, I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, it's been saying this a little long, so I guess it's just thinking or maybe trying to uh, look at it on the cloud, but um, I don't have internet, so that's not going to work. Um, so we'll just go ahead and run some more. Alright, let's see here what's going on. Alright, so this looks like this is through. Um, it's not taking up a lot of memory. Uh, let's see here. Where else do we have it? Nope. Uh, I where to go? 
What's trusted install? Hmm. I don't know what that is. I. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't see it running anymore. So. I guess it did something and closed itself, or Norton blocked it, but that is getting on my nerves. Um, okay, so let's open up Flash Player here, and, uh, let's see what this is doing. Okay, here it is. It's right there, and, uh, oh. And closed on us. Okay. Okay, what's this? This see this is something. Okay, this is uh something was created and uh it was ran here and now there's a bunch of crap here. Windows mail, what's Windows mail? Um I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um Okay, I uh, and here's this. This is taking up some memory. I don't know. These uh, I think this one is a uh, Zeus Trojan, so um it might be calling home. But uh by the way, calling home means um it'll like ask uh the owner will the the creator of the program will send in uh commands for this to do. So it's not going to be able to do that though because we don't have internet. Uh oh. Okay. Um did it delete itself out of there? What the heck? Looks like it deleted itself out of there. And, uh, it's in here now. This is weird. Okay, um. From program utility. Alright, let's see here. What is this? What's problem reporting? Well, this is still running, so this got through. Um, this is weird. Uh, let's look at the history here. Um, uh, security, view details. View details, okay. Um, uh, where is the history? Alright, I will be back when I find the history. Hey guys, uh, I found the history here, and it wasn't as easy to find as the older versions of Norton, but anyways. Um, so here is everything, um, the history, full history. Uh, so it blocked pd.exe, and looks like these are the ones that it already deleted and um, resolve security risks and uh, so here we go uh, you guys never got to see these but you did see um, you did see the other one go away which was very weird um, not that one but it's not here anymore but it deleted itself or something so uh, we're gonna see what happens when we run this um, as administrator, so, uh, it's called user change. I don't see it here. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, here this is. Alright, what's it doing? Okay, it's not using much memory. Okay, now, okay. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's open up data modify. See what happens. Okay. It looks like that didn't even run. Um. So let's uh let's go ahead and see what happens if we scan the folder itself with Norton. All right. Um. Okay. There. Well, not four items in here, but okay. Maybe there's there's probably some stacked in here, but uh, all right, guys. It looks like Norton uh out of 
Um, let me see. Okay, so looks like Norton uh, got five out of eight um, viruses. So I would like to see um, what happens if I just copy paste how many it will freak out about. So um, see what happens. Just okay. All right, so it looks like it deleted all of them, but the same three. So, uh, yeah, and the Flash player deleted itself, I guess. So, uh, all right, guys, that is it for uh, Norton. So Norton scored five out of eight. Um, or I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say four out of eight because I'm a little confused on this Flash player thing. I don't know if it caught it in uh, Sonar or what, but anyways, guys. I'll see you, uh, we're gonna do Norton versus, uh, Norton 2013 versus Kaspersky, so, on the same set of malware, so that'll be fair, um, and, uh, we're gonna see what happens, uh, with Kaspersky. Anyways, guys, I will see you in part two. So, uh, yeah, alright, see you guys, bye.